We often hear the term fair trade but being used, but what does it really mean? How does fair trade ensure economic benefits for products such as coffee, tea and others? For a better understanding of fair trade, I'm joined by Mary Linnell Simmons, Director of Marketing for Fair Trade America. Mary, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me, Esther. Same key question. A lot of people would be asking, what is fair trade? Fair Trade is a product certification that you might see on certain products uh, with this little symbol here, it says Fair Trade. And what it is, is it's a way of making sure that farmers and workers who are producing a lot of the ingredients we love are benefiting, such as cocoa, such as coffee, such as tea, like you mentioned. Yes, and so a lot of people wonder, okay, um, such farmers, like, can they really even set the price for their product? through fair trade. Mm -hmm. So fair trade has two pricing mechanisms. One is a sustainable floor price. And what that means is that when the uh, market price drops below a certain level, farmers won't be left out uh, so that they get at least a minimum price. If, not, if it's higher, if the market value is higher, they get the higher price. They also get a premium which is paid on top of the market price. And this is reinvested um, in community projects that's democratically decided by the entire cooperative community community of farmers. Now when you talk about cooperatives, uh, how does fair trade actually impact such cooperative to empower the farmers? Because most people, I come from a country where there's coffee grown tea and uh, you know other products that I see in the US market, but a lot of these farmers don't get the benefits for what they sweat for. Mm -hmm. How do we ensure that farmer out there, you know, joining a cooperative will be able to benefit from fair trade? Absolutely. Well, I think we can all agree that working collectively is a lot better than working alone. A lot of the farmers we work with uh, own less than three acres of land. They might earn two dollars a day and so by working together with their community they can do more than if they were just working alone. Also um, fair trade is an audited certification so it's not as if we're just saying just trust us and, and you know we're, we're saying these things but they don't really have any backing. So we have auditors go in and check to make sure that farmers are benefiting from the certification. And at the end of the day, it's voluntary as well. Farmers choose this. This isn't a legal thing that anybody has to do. They want to do it because it's better for their businesses. It's better for their farms. I see you have some product on the table. I do. And I want to know why. Mm -hmm. What do you want our viewers to know about these products? Um, so I've got a couple products here. I have got a, a bar of divine chocolate. Uh, I think that this is a great way to show that farmers benefit because the cocoa farmers from Ghana who actually produce this chocolate bar are co-owners in the company. Mm -hmm. They own more than 40% of this chocolate company, which just goes to show how if business and farmers are working together, really amazing things can be done. Um, I've also brought uh, a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, which a lot of people love. Every single pint of Ben & Jerry's is fair trade certified. Um, in particular, the vanilla, for example, um, and anybody's favorite vanilla classic ice cream is coming from Madagascar and is fair trade certified. And then additionally, we have coffee, which most people associate with fair trade. This coffee is from Ethiopia in particular, but we're seeing more and more people are getting into specialty coffee. They're interested in where it's coming from. And fair trade is a way of farmers getting more benefit from what they grow. Now, in those countries where they grow that, and very briefly, people don't see that. Now, here in America, actually, when I knew you were coming, I saw, I went to a store and I bought some coffee that says fair trade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do people get to buy such? How do they even know what to buy and how this goes along to benefit the producers? Very briefly. Absolutely. So um, we suggest shopping at retailers who support fair trade, such as Whole Foods Market is a big supporter of fair trade. They display it very prominently. Look for the little symbol every time that you go shopping, then you know. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, go on our website, go on our social media, find out more about the farmers that you're impacting. Mary, thank you very much for coming on Africa 54. Thank you for having me. Wish we had a little more time, but uh, that's what it is today. Mm -hmm. Mary Linnell Simmons is the Director of, of Marketing for Fair Trade America.